Wix versus WordPress is not an ideological debate. There's no right or wrong answer. Instead, the tool should match your need. Because even though WordPress and Wix are both tools for building a website, they take completely different approaches. Wix is a website builder and WordPress is a content management system or CMS. To generalize, website builders like Wix are easier to use but less customizable. A CMS like WordPress has a steeper learning curve but is highly customizable. Website builders like Wix include hosting, so you don't have to set up a web host. WordPress, on the other hand, requires you to set up a web host, though it's less intimidating than it sounds. Many hosts offer one-click WordPress installations. But here's the thing. This is just scratching the surface of the ways in which WordPress and Wix's different approaches are expressed. I'm going to unpack these differences in the rest of the video. My videos are supported by affiliate commissions, so if you'd like to try Wix or SiteGround, my recommended WordPress host, you can find links to them in the video description below. And I may earn a commission. One of the most obvious differences between Wix and WordPress is the editor. Wix has a visual drag and drop editor. It's similar to PowerPoint or Keynote in that it allows you to move any element to any place on a page. So you can move it here, here, and here. WordPress recently launched a new block-based editor called Gutenberg. I think Gutenberg is an improvement, but the WordPress community has been pretty critical so far. Now, Gutenberg doesn't show the full page within the editor. For example, you don't see the header, sidebar, and footer. Because of this, you might find yourself swapping between the editor and the published website to check how everything looks. By contrast, most things in Wix are edited visually. If you see something, you can click it and you can change it. The website stays within view and changes happen live. WordPress is an open source CMS, which basically means anyone can contribute to it. This is both a huge strength and at times a weakness. For example, you can add plugins to your WordPress website. Plugins basically add additional features. And at the time of writing, there were 50,000 plus plugins created by the WordPress community. That's way, way more than any website builder has. But the breadth of WordPress is also what can turn it into a hot mess. For example, Adding plugins doesn't always work perfectly. Incompatibilities often arise and fixes can require you to tweak code. All you have to do is browse plugin reviews on wordpress.org and you'll get a sense of the frustration. Wix is completely different. They offer an app store with a small collection of 300-ish apps, not even close to the 50,000 plus WordPress plugins. But unlike WordPress, all Wix apps are checked for compatibility so you can be confident they'll integrate with your website with no issues. So since WordPress has so many plugins, should you just use WordPress? Well, here's what I would say to make it simple. If you're building a website with conventional features, go with Wix. If you need unconventional features, go with WordPress. You'll probably be able to find a WordPress theme or plugin that supports it. For example, a photo gallery is a conventional feature. Wix has plenty of photo gallery options, but if you want a photo gallery that scrolls horizontally, as in left to right, then that's going to be more unusual and you wouldn't be able to do it on Wix. It's just too unconventional. But you can almost certainly find a WordPress plugin that will do that. Conventional websites aren't trying to reinvent the wheel. They're the typical website for restaurants, nonprofits, photographers, or any other small business. They need photo galleries, contact forms, maybe unembeddable Google Maps, but nothing too unusual beyond that. Wix covers all these features and they often make it easier than WordPress. For example, if you search WordPress photo gallery plugins, you're gonna find literally hundreds of results. How are you supposed to know which one is right? With Wix, there's none of that searching. There's just one excellent photo gallery. You can just get up and running quickly. It just works. So even though Wix doesn't offer as many features as WordPress, the features that they do offer, they just work. You won't lose afternoons trying different plugins to see which one is compatible with your theme. Let's take a look at themes. 
Wix offers 500 plus themes, which is a good amount for a website builder, but it's also nowhere near WordPress, which has over 11,000 themes on ThemeForest. But again, here's the thing. Like plugins, WordPress has a wider selection, but you'll also run into compatibility issues that will require you to debug with code. Wix has a smaller selection, but you're not gonna run into a theme that requires you to mess with code in order to be compatible with Wix features. Theme customization in WordPress is done through Customizer, a nice tool that lets you click elements to reveal style options or browse along and make style customizations. Wix has a completely different approach. Wix elements can be grabbed and moved. Elements can be selected and you can make customizations on the fly. It's a bit hard to compare prices between Wix and WordPress because they're priced completely differently. Wix includes everything in one package. Hosting, e-commerce, themes, apps, customer support, these are all included in every Wix package, though some apps do cost additional money, but most are free. WordPress is different, and at the WordPress core is free, but you can pay for hosting, premium themes, and premium plugins. For example, Bluehost charges $7.99 per month for WordPress hosting, and a premium theme from ThemeForest could cost around $39. And there are premium WordPress plugins. WP Forms is a drag and drop WordPress form builder that starts at $40 per year. WordPress Commerce is a free e-commerce plugin, but it sells extensions. The extensions cost between zero to $299 and they add specific features. For example, adding a UPS shipping uh, method. It costs $79 for that. So let's wrap this up. Remember Wix versus WordPress, it's not an ideological debate. There is no right or wrong answer. But by now you should have an understanding of the fundamental differences between the two tools. So choose the one that matches your needs. Building a conventional website? Maybe give Wix a try. Looking for features or themes that are a little more unconventional? Maybe give WordPress a try. My videos are supported by affiliate commissions. So if you'd like to try Wix or SiteGround, my recommended WordPress toast, you can find links to them in the video description below, and I may earn a commission. I really appreciate you watching. Best of luck making your decisions.